Today, MTD CNC have travelled to Birmingham in Aspen to European CNC turn part and on with Roy Goodwin. Now, Roy, you've just purchased your first sliding head machine, a Citizen A20. Now, what were your considerations when choosing a Citizen? Well, mainly because the job we'd done before, uh, the machine broke down, we needed something in quick. And Citizen happened to have one on the shelf, basically, or, or sort of off the shelf available. It suited our uh, purposes down to the ground so we went along that line. So how did you manufacture these particular components before? We used to use them on a, a sub-spindle machine where one end picked up the other on one end and one end one on the, on the other end and because it broke down we went along the sliding head uh, capacity and we found it to be absolutely fantastic. So when you say fantastic, you know, what are the kind of time savings that you're getting well, from? We was getting roughly about five minute cycle times on the previous machine. With this Citizen now, we're getting down to just two minutes and 10 seconds. So you, you've, you've more than half yeah. the cycle time. Yeah. And the, uh, the other big advantage of going along this way, we used to have to cut the bars in half. So we had two bar ends. We now use one complete bar, so we've saved on bar ends, which is material cost saving. Is this because you've got the three metre yeah, bar feeder? Big, bigger bar feeder. We also found out with the tooling costs have come down astronomically. We've got a, we've got to be an hundred percent saving on tooling costs as, as well, which has helped uh, along the lines of why we went for Citizen, due to the fact we're using uh, need cutting oil, whereas we using soluble oil before. It's Far superior. So the particular components that you're doing on here are extremely high volume yeah. and they're a family of parts. What was the transition like from fixed head to sliding head for you? Well, because nobody's had you sliding head before, we had to get to Citizen for all their advice, which is absolutely brilliant, can't knock them. Uh, they've done this as a turnkey uh, operation, so the family of parts, they've wrote the programs and all we have to do is change a macro, and it's a macro, one tool, and it's, we're away. It's been absolutely smooth as I can imagine. Well, it looks, it looks very impressive. Now, this is the A20, it's a fifth axis sliding gear model. Obviously, Citizen have a larger range of machines, more complex machines, you know. Through your initial experience now, can you see you investing in even more machines in the future, more complex sliding head machines? Well, this is, as I say, this is our first sliding head, the first experience we've had from it, and I'm sure we will in future definitely be going along that lines. We've spoke about it before, and I can't see no reason why not. Just a matter of getting the programming, which Citizen have given us all the software to do it. So. And, and the programming, I mean, it's been a turnkey package, but yeah. are, you find that quite straightforward? Yeah, it's not been too bad. We've been able to change all the programs, matter it used to take us before about two, three hours to change over between each on the other machine. This one in about five minutes. So it's, uh, again, down so the setup times yeah. uh, have pretty much been eradicated. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and in regards to the, the tooling, you know, you're setting up the tooling in a different manner now. Yeah. Um, how has that transition been made? Has it been easy as well? It's been, it's been very easy, to be honest, because uh, we used to have to measure tools, we no longer have to measure them, now we know how to do it. It's easy, easy. So I can't really find any negatives. Roy, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.